hello. Um, wow. <laughs> hello. So, I'm sure you've all noticed we are in a pandemic right now. Um, and that means that I can't go and get my hair cut. Now, I don't often cut my hair. I mean, it's been over a year since the last time I got a haircut. And now that I can't go and get a haircut, I desperately want one. I also think I'm ready finally to take the plunge on getting an actual midi haircut, which for those of you who don't know, is the most popular haircut that happened in the 1940s um, and into the 50s for hairstyling purposes. And I just noticed I have very thick and heavy hair, and now that my hair's gotten much longer, I mean, it's short looking because of the curls, but now that my hair is long, uh, my hair like clumps up, it doesn't brush out as nicely, and it pulls down any nice height that I get for my curls uh, around my bangs. Uh, so it is time for a haircut, and I'm going to attempt to do a midi. Now, the title that I think I've decided on for this video probably is a little misleading because it makes it sound like this is my first time cutting my hair for a vintage haircut. Uh, when in fact, this is the first time I've cut my hair ever. <laughs> vintage or not. So, I mean, I, by cut my hair, I mean cut it on my own. So, you know, we're just gonna go for it. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and I probably will be referencing them a lot while doing this process, so this is not a tutorial. This is just probably what probably will end up being kind of a humorous video of um, how bad my hair probably will turn out. I don't really have high hopes for this uh, experiment, but I also don't trust anyone in my family to cut my hair for me. So I'm going to do it myself, and that means I have nobody to blame but myself. Um, so I put my hair into curls for the purpose of filming this so I can show a little before, and then we can do a comparison to how they curl afterwards. Um, so I guess I'll give a quick hair tour and we can see that. And then what I'm going to do is wet my hair and blow dry it um, partially and let it dry kind of a little bit natural to, at the end. Um, because all the videos I watched up to this point all cut their hair wet, which is fine. Uh, but then they say, but beware, because uh, your hair will shrink a little bit, you know, when it dries. And I don't trust myself to gauge how much my hair will shrink, so I'm gonna cut my hair dry. And maybe that is the worst decision I'm starting off in this whole process. I'm I think where I'm filming is haunted. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to cut my hair dry and I'm probably going to have to move into the bathroom when I do this. So this scenery will probably change when we come back. But first, let's take a look at what my hair looks like now. So that's my hair now. And hopefully it looks sort of like that, but maybe a little nicer. Nah, who am I kidding? All right, so I'm gonna go wet my hair and dry it. You guys don't need to watch that process. Uh, and then we'll get into the actual cutting, which I am terrified uh, about doing, so. Catch you on the flippity flop. Okay. Hello. 
I feel like this is not gonna be in frame, but it's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna start cutting my hair, as you can see. It's nice and natural, length and straight-ish, and I'm in more appropriate clothing um, for cutting. Also, I only have an hour to do this before meeting that's at 2.30 my time. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. See if we can get this done in an hour. If not, uh, I brought a headband, scarf, to cover it for the meeting in case this goes really bad. So we're just uh, gonna jump right in. I mean the kind of music men hum or whistle when they feel on top of the world. I mean the kind of music men hum or whistle when they feel on top of the world. And gentlemen, one of the many things that give you that zipped up feeling is the pleasure of being well dressed. drastic u-shape but uh i have eight minutes till my meeting so i'm gonna pause here and come back okay so i'm back i did a little bit of cleaning up off camera it's not that great um but i guess here's what it looks like now and then we're gonna work on the uh, front kind of bang section so push it back and probably super jagged looking I can't even tell I haven't looked at it um don't have another mirror so we're just going with it and now for the bangs
I mean the kind of music men hum or whistle when they feel on top of the world. brush this out I a wanted to show you that I use wet set with foam rollers I sleep on it uh, but more importantly to give a lovely update that well two things first off I cut my hair yesterday and it it went that's all I can say uh, but my mom offered to clean up the back for me a little bit. So I let her do it. But of course, I am aware that I said this a few days ago. But I also don't trust anyone in my family. So yeah, call me hypocrite. It's fine. Uh, so that happened. But then also, it turns out, yesterday, while I was cutting my hair, I did not have the radio on to listen to the governor of my state talking about procedures and things that he's doing with COVID-19 and uh, apparently in like five days the salons are gonna open back up in one way that's great because if this really went awful um, I can always go and get it cleaned up but also it means that I really unnecessarily went through all of that work of cutting my own hair so, yeah. Without further ado, I'm gonna go brush this out and then I'm gonna give you the reveal. I'm super nervous. Like, I can't explain. I'm more nervous about seeing how my hair actually looks now than I was when cutting my hair. So, we're gonna go brush out. Well, here we are. Here it is. You know, it could have been a lot worse. Honest. I guess I'll just show you all of it because I literally have no words. So, here we go. The final hair tour. Yeah, 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 yeah. for the back all I had to work with was this super creepy doll mirror to hold up uh, but I got the job done but super creepy so yeah I would say don't do this at home kids it could have gone a lot worse I'm very thankful that it didn't We'll see as the curls relax and as time goes on, just how bad it is. But uh, yeah, I hope that this was somewhat entertaining. I don't know who in their right mind would watch this and enjoy it. All right, well, uh, bye and who knows, maybe I'll post another wacky video. Until then, see ya.